Today we're taking a look at the Moza Mini P, my favorite gimbal. Here we have the Moza Mini P, my favorite gimbal right now. The reason I love this gimbal is because it's very versatile. For a gimbal this size, this small, I mean, I consider it to be pretty small because when you remove the legs, you can actually fold this like this. Uh, you can lock this. And it will fold very compact. Now, right now, you will have to like prepare all these parts and fold, you know, um, put them back together in a way that it will actually fold and goes into the provided case. But uh, in the end, you can make it pretty small. And this gimbal is very capable. And by that, I mean, not only can handle my Samsung S21 Ultra, even with a moment uh, uh, lens attached to it, but it also can handle action cameras. It can handle um, an RX100, for example, APS-C cameras like the A6000 lineup. But even it handles an A7 or an A9 full frame camera from Sony, which it's insane that such a small compact gimbal has that much power. It can handle up to 900 grams. So you will see that my Sony A9 with a prime lens will hit about 830 or so. I'll show a scale video just to show you the clip on how much it weights and it was able to handle it just perfectly fine. Now on this video, I am not planning to do the whole show thing of every part because a lot of people have done that, uh, but most of the videos, or if not all of them, have been showing smaller systems like APS-C or phones. So in this video, my goal was to show you the full frame camera, how it behaves in the full frame camera, doing some low angle shots and high angles and ninja walk and all that stuff. So, so that's my primary goal. I would also show you how it performs the inception mode. So again, I just wanted to see how it actually handles the spinning of the heavier full frame camera. So we'll get to that point uh, shortly in the video. So as far as modes, it has selfie, it has sports mode, all those things. And, and I think the best way for you to see that is a, this is an excellent video of a, of a YouTuber showing off all the modes. So I'm going to put that in the description. He did a great job. So you can take a look at that. And on my part, the only mode I'm going to be showing besides the clips outdoors, uh, showing you how the stability works with the full frame camera, it will be the inception mode and how it handles my A7, uh, my A9 camera. So let's go ahead and take a look at those clips and then we'll come back for my final opinion on the gimbal. So one of the reasons I really like this gimbal is because it's able to not only hold my S21 Ultra and action cameras and something like an RX100, but also full frame camera like the A9 here. And this is the Sony A9. And it's with a Samyang 24 millimeter 2.8 lens. It's a small prime, but it's a full frame camera on this small gimbal and it's able to handle it just fine as you will see from the footage that I'll be sharing with you. But right now, I just wanted to show you how it can handle actually inception mode. So I'll go ahead and turn the gimbal on. And then if I tap here three times, We're going to inception mode. Okay, and let's see how it rotates it. And it looks very smooth, just like I would do with my phone. Yeah, perfectly fine, just like it does with the phone. So as you will see when the footage I'm going to be sharing later, uh, it has no problem handling this. So this is at the getting to the limits of uh, what it can handle. It's about 900 grams that it can handle. And this is over 800. And I'll put a uh, scale so you can see the actual weight of the of the system. But I even put a small um, wireless system on top of it, the Godox M2 that I reviewed. And it, it was able to handle it, but that's really pushing it close to the 900 limit. So. Uh, that's about as much as I would go with this particular gimbal, but being able to go anywhere from a phone to an action camera to an RX100 to a full frame camera like this, not to mention an APS-C camera will be even easier with just the one gimbal that is pretty compact 
I think that's the win. That's why I, I like this so much because it's like it can pretty much do it all if you don't need like a super big uh, gimbal for a heavy camera setup. So anyways, back to the video. Okay, here we are testing the Moza Mini P. This is with the Sony A9 and the Samyang or Rokinon 24mm 2.8 lens. So, um, right now I'm shooting on F11, so we get a bit of a slower shutter speed because I don't have a ND filter here. So right now this is a normal walk. And this is a pretty heavy load, but the Mola uh, Mini P, the Moza Mini P should be able to handle about 900 grams. So this is still under that. I'm gonna go under and see how it looks. Again, this is normal walking. And go all the way up. See how stable that is. I'm gonna, my arm is completely at the top. And I'm gonna go into ninja walk and see how that feels. If you can tell any difference on my on the stabilization. So this is ninja walking. I'm not the greatest ninja walker, but at least it's something. Let's try ninja walk on a low level. And let's go higher again. Okay, this is the Moza Mini P with the Sony A9. And now I'm gonna try the selfie mode. So let's see how this works. So I'm extending the arm, no more walk. Uh, this is gonna make it harder because it's still the heavy, heavy setup even with the with the 24 millimeter because it's a full frame camera. But it gives you an idea how it works. So I'm gonna try ninja walking now. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Now, regular walk. This is an APS-C crop mode. I tried going into full frame mode. But anyways, hopefully it'll be good enough to give an idea on how this small uh, Moza, Moza Mini P gimbal is able to handle a full frame camera with a small frame. So that should do it for this test. Thank you. That completes our uh, test, showing some uh, clips outdoors, showing the inception mode with a full frame camera. So now you have an idea what to expect from this uh, powerful yet small gimbal. I would love to hear your opinion about it. Do you think it's uh, worth investing in a gimbal like this? Uh, personally, because of the way I shoot and because of the small prime that I use with my A9 for video, this gimbal is just perfect. I mean, I can use it for travel. If I have, I want to get some more stability on my uh, Samsung S21 or an RX100 for traveling, this will do. If you have an action camera like GoPro, this will be perfect. And of course, if you have an APS-C, even easier than a full frame, of course, with a smaller uh, lens. As long as you're not over 900 grams, you'll be fine. And as, as with any gimbal, the better you um, calibrate it when you're setting it up, the, be the better it will it will handle the better it will be the battery lasting longer so make sure to take your time and make sure it's very very uh, nicely balanced so that's the key um I, anytime i balance mine it handles the a9 without any problems no shakes no nothing if you experience any shakes with a phone for example go to the uh, Mo, uh, the moza app and lower the power on the on the uh, motors it seems to happen sometimes when you uh, do the auto calibration that it overdoes the calibration. It puts too much power on the motors and some ex uh, users can experience some shakiness. I reported this to Moza already, so they're going to be looking into it. But other than that, just lower the, uh, the motor power and then it should be all fine. I only experienced it once with the S21 Ultra after adding the moment lens. And uh, I was able to just tweak it and back to normal. Uh, also, I wanted to mention that as with any other uh, gimbal that I've seen for uh, Android, the options are limited. You won't have the 4K 60p, for example, things like that. 
uh, but I, I've been talking to Moza about it and uh, they're working on the panorama option. It's going to be added uh, soon to Android. And there's some extra stuff that are working on behind the scenes and to improve the app for Android users. I'm not in a liberty of actually sharing what they are working on yet. But as soon as they give me the authorization, I'll be I'll go ahead and I'll let you know, uh, guys know. But it's pretty exciting. Uh, so keep an eye for that as well. So overall, this is the gimbal I take anywhere I want to go. Uh, size, power, it does it all for me. Uh, if you only have a small phone and you want an even smaller gimbal, that's fine. But to me, the extra power, knowing that this can handle anything, it's going to give you that extra boost on, on, on extra smooth stability on your on your devices. So think about this and let me know what you think. Is this a gimbal you want to add to your tools? Do you have one already that you love? You know, with gim gimbals and Android, it's always a problem with the, with the app. So I'm very happy to hear that Moza is working on that. So... Again, hope the video footage is uh, helpful so you can make a decision whether you want to buy this gimbal or not. And as usual, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.